Hey guys, today we're going to announce another new feature has been supported on the S Series PBX, the Contacts feature. It is supported on S50, S100, and S300. So now get your system updated and test the new feature. The Contacts feature provides native contacts management for the Star PBX system and allows admin to create a list of company contacts that can be shared with certain members of the organization. Individual extensions will also be able to create and manage personal contacts exclusive to themselves. As a result, the contacts will be managed in a central place, synced across the web GUI, link as using apps and IP phones, and be used for making outgoing calls and identifying contacts in common calls. Anyway, let's jump in and see how to make the new feature work. Let's start with the company contacts. Log in to the PBX web GUI with the Super Admins account. Go to the main menu. We can easily find contacts built in the system. Open it. We can create new contacts directly. Click on Add. Fill in the necessary information, including full name, company information, phone number, fax, and address. Say we have created these contacts. If we want to add contacts in bulk. We can export the existing contacts and use the file as a template. Open it. Delete the existing contacts and fill in new information directly. For example, we're going to add these contacts to the template. Save the file. Turn to the PBX. Import the file from the PC. As we can see, our new contacts has been added to the list successfully. All right, it's time for us to set user permission for each extension. Choose Settings. Two types of permissions are available: View Company Contacts and Manage Company Contacts. View Company Contacts allow users to view all the company contacts information, yet not to add it, delete, or add the information. While Manage Company Contacts allow users to view, edit, delete, and add all the contacts information. We simply choose the users to the list. Say the extension user 1000 has the permission to view contacts, while 1001 has the permission to manage them. Click on Save and Apply. Now let's see the usage on these two users' web GUI as well as their Linkus app. Let's take extension 1000 as the first one. Log in to the web GUI with the user's account. We can easily find contacts is here. Open it. Here are the company contacts just distributed to the user. Right beside is the personal contacts. Well, we're going to talk about it later. Now back to the company contacts. We're able to view all the information, and that's it. Open the Linkus mobile client. Tap directory. Here's the contacts feature. We have the same permission as on the web GUI. Well. How about the extension 1001? Log in to the PBX with the user's account, same as Euro. Open this part. We can actually do something more than just view. Except for viewing the information, we can also edit and delete the existed contact or add a new contact, as the Super Animus Twitter does. As for the Lancus, the permissions are the same. View, manage the existing contacts. And add a new company contact to the list. All right, enough talk about the company contacts. Let's turn to the personal contacts. Log in again with the extension 1000 Watts account. We can add new contacts in the same way, creating one by one or exporting a template to add in bulk. All the contacts here will be visible only to this user. Say we have created these contacts. Open Lancus. We can see the personal contacts as well as the company contacts. We can distinguish them by their different icons. Operation on the Lancus is the same as the user's web GUI. We can manage the existing ones and create a new one. And actually, we have two more custom settings. Logging with the Super Admins account. Go to Contacts. Choose Settings right over here. We can set the caller ID match pattern. Exact match means the contact's name 
will be displayed on phones only when the incoming caller ID is matched exactly the same as the information on the PBX. While the fuzzy match will only match the last few digits of the incoming caller ID. We recommend the fuzzy match for you, absolutely. The priority of the name display is also customizable. Alright, finish all the settings. Let's check the effects. Choose a contact to call out directly. When an existing contact makes an incoming call, the contact's name is displayed. Alright guys, guess that was all we have for today's video. Why don't you just have a try with your Lancus mobile client, see what's happening. Anyway, here's a link for Lancus downloading. By the way, Lancus desktop client will support the contacts feature in April, and IP phone will support it in June. Stay tuned. Hope you guys will enjoy this contacts feature for your business collaboration, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details? Check our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.